Hello everyone and welcome to UDL week number 7 here. This week we are playing against the Pass Young Palafins and Apple. Um, this team is incredibly, incredibly strong and they are currently undefeated going into this week. We are currently a week behind so as I'm playing this we are also undefeated. You guys will see the uh, matchup between us and Don Mateo uh, before this. Um, Don Mateo's team is Matthew Slant Slashes, as per usual. Um, but, yeah, so, you know, we could technically be going undefeated into this. We could also not be. Uh, for me, I am currently still undefeated, so I'm going to try to keep uh, the momentum going. Um... And, uh, yeah, Apple's team is incredibly, incredibly strong. They are 6-0 currently. Um, their team consists of Archaladon, Landorus, uh, Incarnate Form, Amoongus, Pelipper, Overquill, Floatzel, Skarmory, Gallade, Wartortle, Salazzle, and Ampharos. So, very clearly they have some type of a... Uh, rain mode here between Archaladon and Pelipper and Landorus. Landorus being able to click Sandseer Storms, Archaladon being able to do like Electro Shot things. Uh, I wanted to bring this up because I've done it with all the other teams that I've considered, uh, that I was considering drafting in, uh, you know, before the season started, but I was also, one of my plans was Archaladon Rain. Unfortunately, I was sniped on Gouging Fire and Archaladon, uh, you know, round number one. Uh, by uh, Camo Dude and now Apple. So, um, you know, we, we pivoted hard. Um, this team is, is incredibly strong, and they have a ton of amazing, amazing options. Amoongus obviously working really, really well on the rain side of things, um, being able to, uh, you know, get rid of its fire weakness in the rain, and, um, yeah, just, just being a, an overall beast. Uh, Amoongus is definitely a scary Pokemon for my team. We have some good answers into it, but overall I don't feel, you know, incredibly strong, so we definitely did some things to cover it. Uh, they have this, you know, Swift Sim core of Overquill and Floatzel. Um, so, you know, those are two really, really great Pokemon, uh, for, uh, being in rain. Overquill is a, a, a very strongly typed Pokemon as well, Dark Poison, um, only having a weakness to ground, uh, really, really strong, some great immunities, especially to our side spam mode, so I'm expecting more than likely to see that today. Skarmory is a Pokemon that I'm also decently afraid of, all things considering. I'd, I'd feel very happy to not see it in this matchup, because our answers to it are actually not incredibly strong. Um... So we definitely need to, uh, you know, keep our eye out on Skarm. Gallade, um, really, really strong, has imprisoned Trick Room to stop our Trick Room mode, so we definitely need to be, um, you know, aware of that. Um, and then from there, War Turtles are really good EVLA Pokemon. Salazzle, a, a good uh, Fake Outer, another good typed Pokemon, uh, really good offensive typing, but... My expectation is not really to see it this week. Um, it, it's a little weird to, to try to fit it in the rain. And then Ampharos, another uh, <laughs> Pokemon we just faced recently in RTT. Um, has some half-decent stats, all things considered, um, and can like click Thunder in rain. But yeah, I mean, this team is incredibly strong, and it's been doing wonderfully well all season long. I think they have some really great tools in order to beat uh, our modes with Wide Guard on Pelipper, um, with Imprisoned Trick Room on Gallade. My expectation is more than likely to see Archaladon, Landorus, Amoongus, Pelipper, Gallade plus one. I am personally a little afraid of Skarmory. Overquill is a Pokemon who uh, is, is obviously a potential just extra way to shut down our Psy Spam. But, um,. Yeah, so what are we going to be bringing this week? This week we have Safety Goggles or Saloon Blood Moon, uh, Terra Water on that, uh, with Blood Moon, Earth Power, Hyper Voice, and Protect. I think that it's uh, a good option to get around a Moongus, which is kind of a big uh, 
big killer of, of Ursaluna modes. Um, we have Hatterene with Life Orb and Magic Bounce, Terra Psychic on it, Expanding Force, Dazzling Gleam, and Psychic uh, as a way to get around the uh, Wide Guard. Uh, we are min speed on it, so we can under speed Amoongus and attempt to take that out. Araquanid, uh, Terra Grass on this, Liquidation, Leech Life, Substitute, and Protect as an extra way to get around Amoongus modes. Um, so, yep. Indeedy Female, Psychic Seed, Terra Grass on that as well. Follow Me, Trick Room, Psychic, and Helping Hand. We are bringing Bombardier for the first time this season. Um, not going to lie, could potentially also be the last time we actually see it on this team this season. So, um, you know, uh, keep an eye out on that. We have Keen Eye on it, uh, specifically just in case they want to run uh, Muddy Water on Pelipper. Uh, Brave Bird, Knock Off, Parting Shot, and Taunt with the Choice Scarf. This way we can try to shut down things like Amoongus. We can try to shut down things like... Um, the wide guard on the Pelipper and the imprisoned trick room on the uh, Gallade. Um, I'm gonna do a quick little calc here to see how much we do into Landorus. If we uh, if we uh, do Brave Bird, Adamant, Terra Flying, 85 to 101 percent. So uh, you know, really really strong. And then finally, we are bringing Sinistra here. With the leftovers, Hospitality, Macha Gacha, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and Trick Room, Terra Dragon. Could also potentially be the last week we see this. Potentially uh, cooking up a very large move here that does uh, have to do with Sinistra. It's been a little underwhelming this season, so hopefully uh, this, this week is a big week for it. With that, Apple says they are ready. And... So I'm going to send them my message saying for them to challenge us and we are going to get into this battle here. Definitely a really, really tough matchup overall. Um, I am very much looking forward to this match. So they do have the Skarmory. They do have the Skarm. Uh, they brought that over the overquill. Understandable, very understandable um, change for them. So, yeah, I mean, they have some very, very strong options here. I think, I do think Bombardier is actually not bad here. Um, We could, you know, parting shot off something if we wanted to. We can lead it with the Indeedy. We can click Taunt. Parting shot, switch into the Hatterene, get a Trick Room up. I think that we will lead it with the Indeedy here. Bring the Hatterene in the back. With... If we bring the Ursa Luna, we just lose a lot of ways to hit into Skarmory. But I think it's our best way to hit the Arch. Could also be the Sinistra in the back as well. Hmm. Because that can at least hit into the Skarm. But we also have bad defensive typing into it. I think that we go with the Ursaluna. Um, Blood Moon into Skarmory has some pretty poor special defense overall. Correct. 70, base 65 HP. So we do have the Arch Aladon plus the Gallade. I think that we just click Taunt and Trick Room here. Because they have White Guard on this as well. Because like they can Electro Shot or Meteor Beam if they want to. But I honestly think that if we get 
a taunt plus a trick room, bring in Hatterene and be able to start clicking uh, Follow Me Dazzling Gleams. I think I'm going to feel pretty happy about that. Do kind of wish I wasn't Scarf on this right now just because I do outspeed. Do outspeed everything, but I think that it's good just for an extra answer into Landorus. Because, like, I don't mind going down, getting in Hatterene, and start clicking big D gleams. Like, follow me plus D gleam seems like a really, really important option later on. Okay, they do go Terra Dark, that's fine. Yeah, not great for that though. Not very good for that. Especially now when we're Terra Psychic on this. Hmm, yeah, bad, very bad turn one for us to be fair. Definitely need to respect the Night Slash on that. Okay. We may have to switch. Into Hatterene and Terra Water. I just still don't even know if that's enough for us. Switch in the Hatterene, just because we're stuck on this, right? Like, we, we need to get this out for, for a different option. Unfortunately, this is not looking like a great choice. This is more than likely if it's running Night Slash. Could not be in Prison Trick Room. I'm going to switch in Hatterene and Protect. I'm gonna switch in Hatterene and Protect. Sacred Sword, okay. And Metal Burst fails, that's beautiful. Okay. They could go Terra, they could just Night Slash into the slot again. Maybe I wanna switch this in. Terra Water and Blood Moon. Yep, okay. Okay, that's all right. That is not ideal. <laughs> that is not ideal at all. All right, I am going to Trick Room and Hyper Voice here. Unfortunately, this is not looking very good for us at all. Bombardier just... The double up on Hatterene, unless they want to read into Protect. But after seeing me switch, I, th I, I could see them just being like, all right, they don't really have an answer to this. Okay. Do we survive this? We do not. <laughs> all right. Yeah, this is unfortunately looking very, very over for us. Okay. Maybe not. Since they don't know that we're goggles yet. That's about our only hope. <laughs> we go for that. We pick up the earth power. Spore. Now they do know we're goggles. But they have the landers in the back. And they're going to just pick us up here with an earth power. Okay. They are physical. They are physical. So.
into that lead. A terror grass on this. I mean, we could follow me with the Hatterene. I do believe that they're probably going to be the wide guard variant on the Gallade. If that's the case, they are the Terra Dark. I wonder if Bombardier onto Galley, because that was a big problem for us. Brave Bird, if they Terra out of this. Brave Bird is more than likely still a KO, even if they are max HP. So I think that maybe we just play this differently. Like we can lead the Bombardier. See, I'm just mainly afraid of like, if they are Sash. We can lead like Bombardier plus, hmm. Bombardier plus the Ursa Luna. And then in the back. And maybe in the back it's bringing DD plus Araquanid? I think that's... I'm putting a lot of trust in Bombardier here, right? I could go Bombardier plus Sinistra to try to get a Trick Room up that way. I think I will go Bombardier plus... Is this ter this is terra flying? That's terra flying. What if we're not terra flying? Yeah, we're not gonna pick up the KO. Hmm. We might have to terra. I don't want to terra flying so early though. Bombardier. What if I let Bombardier plus Hatterene and switch in the Araquanid instead? If they want to, you know, double up into the Hatterene slot. And then in the back, bring the Ursaluna. Okay, so they lead Landorus. We know that this is more than likely physical landorus we could like parting shot into one of them <laughs> what are we into landorus we're doing a good 60 to 75 percent into it Knock off, holding an item is going to do about 60% total. Like, I feel like Brave Bird, the Landorus, switching a rack when it is not a bad tur turn one here. They do go Terra Dark on it. Okay, that's good percentage. Crunch does so much into a rack when it. I thought, damn, I really thought we resisted that. That's okay. That's okay. We can go Brave Bird again. And protect.
that's more than likely choice band on it. Okay, in comes Pelly here. Brave Bird does huge damage. Stone Edge into there. Okay. I'm going to bring back in the Hatterene. I'm going to do Terra Psychic plus Trick Room. And then Liquidation into the Pelipper. I think that this is about the best I got. Yeah, this is looking real tough for us, though. Terra Psychic Fling. The Razor Claw, is that going to make us flinch? No. Okay. 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 So we do get Trick Room up here. It's not. I just don't think that that's how that works. Because my fear here, I think I click Psychic into Protect, because they want a Body Press. I mean, they're going to know my my type on this upcoming turn. I don't think we're in a horrible spot right now, though, because Dazzling Gleam plus Earth Power will KO this, right? The concern is Gallade in the back, correct? I'm just, actually, hold on. I just want to see quickly, just because we can. Ursula Blood Moon with an Earth Power into Art Jaladon. I just, I, this might be Assault Vested. They haven't shown me much reason to believe that it's not Assault Vested. Because they have Metal Burst on it. Right? Game 1, they showed us Heavy Slam. Metal Burst. Body Press. I think Psychic. Does, does a Body Press KO us? Even at... What if they're at plus one? No. But a Metal Burst probably does. That's my concern. I want a Psychic and Protect here. They don't Wide Guard. I read the Wide Guard a little too hard. And there's the Metal Burst. There's the Metal Burst. I'm hoping they have a Moongus in the back rather than Gallade, because I think if they do, this game is 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 mostly over. Because they just don't have much to deal with it. They do have the Gallade though, unfortunately. But I can probably just double the Gallade, right? Psychic the Gallade plus Blood Moon the Gallade. They're more than likely wide guard on this. They're probably Nightshade, Sacred Sword. If they have Protect, this game gets a little trickier. But I still think they're in a tough place. Psychic, they are Sash on the Gallade, so that's good to know. Blood Moon into that. Heavy Slam takes out the Hatterene here. Does take out the hat. Okay, how much does a Blood Moon do into a Landorus here? Or a, a Hyper Voice, I mean. I think I need to protect and then Blood Moon on the next turn. 
And then they can't even Metal Burst me. But they can double up with body presses. Yikes, this is tough. This is really tough. Oh, this was not calcing into max HP though. Body press does about 30% and then plus one, 52. I think that's the, I think that's what I gotta read, right? Let's see how much is this gonna do? 65. I mean, 35. Does the Earth Power KO? They go for Metal Burst here. The Earth Power does not KO. They are not stamina. Yep. Wow. We, we really snuck out of that one there. Forced ourselves into a game three. If they uh, just click body press there, they they win. So we definitely got a little lucky there. A little bit of a misplay. They have not clicked wide guard yet. What if we just lead in DD hat? Iraq when they did much and nothing there. What if we do Ndidi, Hat, Araquanid, Blood Moon? And just say they're not in Prison Trick Room on, on the Gallade. Because I don't think they are. Ndidi, Hat, Lead those two. How much is Arjalanon doing into Hatterene with a heavy slam? Terra Psychic, but like let's say this thing is max attack. Adamant, it's doing about 90%. 73%. And I think that's the best we've got, to be fair. Plus Blood Moon Araquanid. This is an intense one. Definitely got lucky in that game too. Um, can't can't deny those facts. <laughs> they if they clicked Earth Power instead, it wasn't guaranteed. Um, they did 35 plus 35, 70, so yeah, it probably was guaranteed more than likely. They lead Skarm plus Gallade here. Okay. Skarm plus Gallade. They do bring the Skarm here. The Skarm is scary for sure. Our Raquin is our best answer to that. We know we're going to go down to a Terra Dark Night Slash unless we want to Terra this. But I don't think that that's correct. I think I have to go follow me plus Terra... Okay, they do go Terra Dark. There's the Night Slash. Iron Defense. Okay, so we do get rid of our... Hmm. Iron Defense Body Press. I'm going to go Leech Life into Dazzling Gleam. 
actually, I don't even think that's correct. I think that it's always, um, uh, okay. They do bring in the Peli here. Dazzling Gleam. Liquidation. They go for a second Iron Defense. The Dazzling Gleam did half decent damage. Um, this is going to be tough, though. In comes Archaladon. This might just be Liquidation. Expanding Force. And just hope. For, for really solid damage into both. Because we have the water, we have water bubble, we have mystic water. That is a critical hit on the Skarmory. That's going to be massive. That is going to be massive. Stone Edge is going to miss as well. That is going to be massive. All right, I think that once again, we just click Liquidation. The Expanding Force just did so much. We're going to have to click Dazzling Gleam here, though. And the Stone Edge misses again. Wow. We, we certainly got lucky in this one. Um, but that is the way of the game. I mean, wow. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Don't, don't have much words for this. I mean, we could have lost game two very easily if they clicked body press. Um, very fortunate that they clicked, um, Metal Burst instead, it was unfortunately a bad move on their part. Just, uh, you know, not, not one of those not thinking moments. And uh, game three, really, really massive crit, um, crit, which improved the damage a lot. I think that we still were in a pretty okay spot, especially with the missed stone edges. Um... But yeah, you you in this in these long long leagues, you got to take every single uh, bit of RNG you can get. I typically find myself on the opposing end of them, so I'm very happy to um, continue pushing, give them their first loss of the season, and uh, walk out of here with a win that I don't think we necessarily deserved. Um, so incredibly well played to Apple, um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you all next week. Peace out.